Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's time for another repair of a ThinkPad. Here I have Lenovo ThinkPad T490S. Um, this uh, laptop, according to the labels, was manufactured in the spring of 2020, so it's almost five years old. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the NVMe M2 drive. There are not many things that you can upgrade on Lenovo ThinkPad T490 490s because the CPU, the RAM, even the Wi-Fi module are all soldered on the motherboard. The first thing that we have to do before we proceed with the actual hardware upgrade is to temporarily disable the built-in battery. Press the power key to turn on the Lenovo ThinkPad T490s. After that, hit enter and from the menu hit F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. It has a pretty cool user interface. You can even use a mouse. So from the left menu, select config. After that, go to power and click on the option to disable the built-in battery. Of course, this will disable it just temporarily while we do the hardware upgrade. After that, when you plug in a power supply, it will be automatically enabled. A pop-up dialog a window will ask you to confirm. When you hit yes, the laptop will immediately shut down. Now it's safe to proceed with the hardware modifications. Now using a screwdriver, let's remove the bottom part of the laptop so that we can have access to the motherboard. On the back of the laptop, there are five screws. I'm going to use my wow stick screwdriver to unfasten them. Please note that the screws will remain as part of the plastic cover, even unfastening them. This way you can't lose them. I also used a plastic card to release the clips that were holding the bottom part to the main chassis of the laptop. I'll speed up things thanks to the magic of video editing. And here is the back of my laptop. You can see the battery and the motherboard. I've successfully opened the laptop and it's a little bit dirty. So let's use this opportunity and try to clean it. This is uh, just the compressed air. So using it, I'm cleaning up the fan and the radiator heat sinks. Um, there are a lot of uh, dirt inside this laptop. Probably this is the first time it has been cleaned in five years. Here is the drive that I'm going to plug in my ThinkPad T490S. It's a PCI Express NVMe drive with uh, 256 gigabytes of memory. However, Lenovo ThinkPad uh, T490S supports up to one terabyte of M2 2280 SSD drives. I rotated the laptop so that you can have a better visibility. I have to remove the old drive. There is a small screw that holds it to the chassis of the laptop and the main board. Using a screwdriver, I'm going to remove the screw and after that, uh, I'm going to carefully remove the old drive. The next step is obvious. I'm going to carefully plug the replacement NVMe SSD uh, inside the main board and after that, I'm going to use the uh, screwdriver to fasten the screw that holds it to the chassis of the laptop. According to the technical specifications provided by Lenovo, ThinkPad T490S supports one drive up to 128 GB M2 SSD. This is uh, the smaller uh, drive. Uh, there is uh, another uh, socket for it or one terabyte M2 2280 SSD. This is uh, the drive that we are replacing. I plugged a drive with uh, 256 gigabytes, but you can use a drive up to one terabyte. By the way, in the description of the video, there is a link to the technical specifications from Lenovo. Uh, it's a PDF file, so if you are curious to learn all the details, please have a look at it. The last step of this hardware upgrade is to put back the base uh, plastic plate on the bottom of the laptop. I'm going to speed up this part as it's straightforward. After performing the upgrade of the drive, remember to plug the power supply. This will automatically re-enable the built-in battery. After that, we can proceed by powering on uh, the laptop and doing some uh, tests to make sure that our new storage works as expected. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do is to get an appropriate USB-C power supply and plug it to the USB-C power connector on Lenovo ThinkPad. 
the 490s as you can see there will be an led that indicates that the laptop is charging this also means that the built-in battery has been automatically re-enabled as soon as i plugged the usb-c charger after that just open the laptop press the button to turn it on hit enter again but this time instead of f1 press f10 uh, this way we're gonna enter the lenovo diagnostics menu and we can test our storage there are two unique features for lenovo thinkpads that i love one is the option to temporarily disable the built-in battery that you have already seen the second one is this diagnostics tool that's part of the firmware of the laptop so you can test the hardware of the laptop the best part is that all these tests run on low level so it doesn't matter what kind of operating system you have you can test pretty much anything present on this lenovo thinkpad t490s this way however for this particular video the only thing that makes sense to test is the storage so as you can see i navigated through the menus in the lenovo diagnostics tool i've enabled the test for the storage and i run all of them let's take advantage of modern technologies and speed up this boring part it's all good all tests have passed the nvme drive is fine The hardware upgrade of the storage is successful. The next thing that I have in mind for this Lenovo ThinkPad T490S is to install a Linux distribution. This way, uh, the laptop will perform significantly better compared to a Microsoft Windows operating system. Um, if you find this type of content useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, and of course, stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.